preview video of Bundesliga match day 33 has been played um, Saturday and Sunday um, as Frankfurt were allowed to play their game one day later although that helped them quite a bit because they knew the other results so they knew what they needed on the other hand they represented Germany in Europe and also they in the end lost this game after sadly exiting to Chelsea last Thursday on penalties mm. but anyway we played it on uh, Saturday and Sunday I promised to be back on Monday it is Tuesday now as you can witness up there on my high-tech calendar I could also show you my iPhone anyway um, and um, okay, anyway, 33rd uh, third match has been played. We got the results here. We got the perfect betting game. We're gonna check the games, uh, the results. We compare it with bet, bet market and we can check who deserved which result and which result came out in the end. Um, sorry, uh, once again, this. Um, slight irritation. Um, so what did the games bring for us? I, I was saying Bayern are very slight favorite. This is what has been expected so also low scoring game anyway and under so to say this is what computer suspected and this is what actually happened and even there had been some fewer chances. But we must not forget that this evaluation was far away, uh, far away from market, way apart uh, from market's evaluation who had uh, Asian line 0.75 goals. Uh, while my computer said Bayern are just 0.21 goals better and they played only 0.18 goals better. Although this controversial uh, offside call when they scored, it doesn't go into the stats, although you can hardly get any closer to scoring than scoring the goal, referee allowing it. R video assistant says this was offside and it's not offside. It is a silly intervention, uh, but uh, well, I'm not going to argue about this, but when they, th when they are proud of disallowing goals like that, when no one in the world would, would say, well, this is offside and this can't be a clear mistake anyway. And then they say, well, we got all those lines drawing there and from this side, from there and from here, from this angle and so on. And then we can prove it. This is silly. Because what is, which moment is it when the ball leaves the, the, the foot? It is not a, not a moment because it's a time period. Because you, you, you can't uh, get that, mo that moment right. So whatever they say, it's wrong about it. Mathematically wrong and even the, to claim we can say it uh, distinctly, we can be sure this is offside and this is not. They can't do that. Especially as they say, well, we don't know. Is it the shoulder? <laughs> Was it one lock of your hair? Was it the jersey with which you are allowed to score a goal or the foot tip, whatever it is. Anyway, this goal was disallowed. Anyway, the, the stats would simply say I was right. Although this disallowed goal does not go into the stats, I was close enough, I was doing well. Here are the results. We can, of course, check game by game how I've done or we can check it up here, which I would like to avoid actually, because I would like to Keep the tension, who's gonna win? In the Leverkusen Schalke game, one actually is to say that, that Leverkusen improved on their expected stats. Uh, market still was with 1.5 goals or so was wrong because that's just 1.32, but I, you shouldn't argue so much. Result is going into Schalke's favor. And then you would say, well, as long as they hold the results, they do not care so much about the stats. So they, they have not too much intention to go forward. And they kept uh, uh, Leverkusen out well, as well as I expected, or even a bit better. 
they didn't create this much, okay, they wouldn't mind. And they were a goal behind, and they pulled this back so they could argue, well, as long as it was nil-nil, we were happy. After nil-1, we were able to score a goal, so you saw that. And then after that, 1-1, one, one, we went, we stepped back again. And so I was, well, partly right, or yeah, hard to argue. Uh, it's just a small win in this one. In Nürnberg, uh, Gladbach, uh, one, one still has to say the stats were close, but slight, f slightly favoring um, Nürnberg even. 0.15 means uh, the home side were better than expected, which still says Gladbach slight edge to them, but 0-4 was just ridiculous. And actually it was Nürnberg who should have taken the lead uh, when Gladbach did it um, somewhere late in the first half. But uh, it was against run of play, one has to say. And after this happened, well, maybe Nürnberg also knew about the result in, in Stuttgart and so on. So maybe they hung their heads. I don't know. But uh, stats would still say, well, a draw would even have been fine. But nil four is just, well, yeah. Well, but once it started, they couldn't stop it. But they should have been ahead at that point. Hmm. That cost a little bit, but I was arguing against the draw, and I said market was right here. So um, yeah, in some sense I was still right because 2.40 goals that should have been still would underline I was right on the under tendency more or less, which wasn't fulfilled. So Gladbach, uh, it was four goals in it. They just took their chances. In this one, uh, I mean, although uh, Augsburg were twice in the lead. Uh, three times, I mean, 1-0, 1-1, 2-1, 2-2, 3-2, and then 3-all, three 3-4 three in the last minute with a penalty, but I can, uh, can't can argue at all against this one. So I was fully wrong, although, I don't know, my mouse is not moving anymore, so what can I do? Um, so I was wrong, but not by much, it uh, was rather, well, draw would have been even more, a bit more costly. So anyway, but I should say I was arguing in favor of Augsburg, which was not quite right. In the Werder game, the result was on my side. I said uh, Werder, um, yeah, I couldn't, uh, well, I was arguing in favor of Werder, who got the result. Now we can check the stats. But why did I say so? Because there was this small chance of getting into Europe, with, which is, of course, with this win still alive. Mm. Stat would say it was also kind of an under, where market was always an over, more or less, so the lines were 3.75 goals even in this one, I think, so it was Asian market, so it was a silly line, because 2.6 goals only in it, so, but still it was clear, pretty clear edge to Hoffenheim, and also a little edge over um, expected, so they even played a bit m better than I expected. But at, as market's line was 1.25 goals, I was ob obviously right on that one because this is just a difference of 0.77 goals. So I can be happy with this evaluation and with the result, which produced me some winnings. On the other hand, the Anova game was one fully against. I was I was totally wrong, and I mean. They, they were not looking for their chance or something like that. Uh, they just played football while Freiburg didn't. And simple as that. And this is sometimes the case when both more or less play for nothing. It rather goes in favor of the home side. I wasn't expecting this from Freiburg, but they were just awful. They just didn't take part in the game that was 15-4 shots. On, well, we can check that, whatever we want to. But... Um, was massive, 18-5, sorry, 7-1 on target. So Freiburg just didn't play, they didn't perform at all. It can always can happen, but now that they they are safe, you can say, well, we're on a way side, we're on a small side, so, well, we don't really need to, well, fight in every game. In Stuttgart, I wouldn't say I was wrong. I mean, this was, uh, it was close enough, and actually still Wolfsburg with a small edge in this by stats, I, was, I wasn't right with that, but it was just a game that went uh, in favor of uh, Stuttgart. I wouldn't, I mean, 
if as soon as here is a plus and the side get a good result, you can't argue too much. I mean, okay, happy with that. I mean, if you're performing well, better than expected, then you may get a result. Still, we have to compare it with what market said. And now I would still say, okay, I was doing fine. I mean, 1.06 is clearly less than that. And if, if you score three goals from that, well, it just happens. And well, I wouldn't say I was fully wrong. But anyway, in Dortmund, uh, uh, Düsseldorf, that was, well, somehow the big chance uh, I missed. I mean, here you wouldn't, you, I mean, looking at that, it was, it was just fine. I mean, this is close enough, right? It is just very close. 1.75 goals was the market's line, which was obviously fully wrong because they were just not even one goal worse. But we must not forget that they were playing with 10 men. And the way they fought back and the 3-2 they scored and two more clear-cut chances uh, close to the final whistle when just, well, Dortmund just hung on hung on to that lead. I mean, they were just lucky at that stage and they, they well, they hardly were, were everyone in the crowd. But anyway, they, they know they, they can't win the title anymore. I mean, they may have waited for that late winner for Leipzig. I don't know which game uh, finished first. can't remember that. But um, uh, they may have hoped to come one into range of one point. But now Bayern need one point only against Frankfurt. Well, anyway, I mean, you keep your chance alive. But this was like against Mainz. It was just awful that Dortmund did. And actually, I mean, I got this. I can show you here. Maybe you, you, you are interested in that. Um, well, I can open it like this. Um, I mean, uh, first of all, of course, we could, we could check the, the efforts. Um, I'm trying to get myself on here. Uh, looking at the efforts, I mean, this is all season, right? Um, Dortmund, I mean, I can make this bigger, all the... But... I mean, check this out. Uh, this is from start to finish. They, they beat Leipzig with a... When they were... This is how well they played. This is their efforts. We did come close at some point, but they never reached uh, the even the expected level. But look at the points level. That is just way apart. So they, they were just lucky all season. And the efforts never went up higher than 1.62 uh, points per game. Well, I, I even expected them on 1.74 points. What they did win is 2.21. So they were, they were just lucky. Uh, maybe this serves as a proof. I can also... I mean, I'm taking down the stats... Um, um, well, I, I just have to do it uh, by my profession. Uh, I have to do it right, but you can of course doubt it because they are not given. They are not. Uh, I mean, it's not going into any kinds of tables. Um, so to compare with, but anyway, if we see here, Bayern seventy-five point seventy-nine expected, seventy-eight point six one they should have had. So they are just doing fine. Seventy-five. I mean. One win more, uh, well, here exchange, but but this is good enough. But look at this. I mean, 75, I expected 53.61 they should have had. They won 73. So this is just, uh, well, I mean, they are not even second best here. But in expectancies, they are, because they are better than uh, Leipzig, slightly. Uh, although Leipzig were also, uh, yeah, who did come close, actually, Hoffenheim. But look at these stats here. Uh, Leipzig should have had four points more, and also Hoffenheim are better. And even, well, Leverkusen, this is how well they played, right? So Leverkusen are close enough. I mean, that's just all, the, they all played the same level, right? The one wins the points, the other, the other one doesn't. It happens game by game. You can argue, always can argue about the size of the chances, right? When I say, um, I count shot as a shot and you see it this was one from six yards out and open go so <laughs> this is a much bigger chance but i'm i'm well I, I can't do that that's what x goals do but they they do it afterwards so what what that doesn't help me at all i have to do what 
they do it after they know what kind of chances there were. Okay, um, um, uh, coming back to this, uh, Stuttgart and Dortmund were just lucky also in this game, although here still confirmed they were the better side. Okay, who else but the better side should win? But they just hung on. This lock with a very fine, brave effort, as predicted. And mm. so this was a big chance missed somehow for me to pick up some real well draw would have done. In Frankfurt Mainz, once again, I was I was right uh, in the sense, at least in the sense of the result, that Mainz are not going to give this away. But in fact, uh, uh, Frankfurt produced enough to consider themselves unlucky once again after Thursday, whereby a 50-50, a coin flip, well, anyone can win or lose it, so you shouldn't say, oh, so unlucky. But um, that's what I consider penalties. But um, still, yeah, they may feel, feel a bit. Uh, and hard done by. And this is uh, the same thing here. Um, reflected in the stats, they were even by 0.47 goals better. Anyway, the, the result, like in the Schalke game or so, when you say, well, as soon as you, you get the result, also Werder Bremen, very similar games, these three, uh, where the stats are always slightly favoring the home side and the result favors the away side, so the result was on their side. And you, you can... <clears throat> In Schalke, you can say, well, there were those couple of minutes when they were down a goal, or I don't, I can't remember how long it was. They were always had the result on their side, and also uh, Mainz always had the result on their side. So yeah, nah, well, I can't complain it. So what what is the final uh, result then? Um, uh, I'm even winning a bit, so I'm yeah, of course, I'm okay with that, and I think it was arguably okay what I've done. And um, still, I'm I'm down uh, over the season, as you see here, because even this these small winnings wouldn't make me this much happier. Anyway, um, as you see, uh, as you see, um, we are well one. Good match day could actually turn us around, and I'm still suffering uh, from this first match day, with which more or less when I started this perfect betting game, and this is more or less what I'm still down. So you can say, well, this is the typical phenomena. You should try to show something, and it goes wrong in the first place. <laughs> from then on, I was doing pretty okay. Anyway, I'm, I've got no complaints at all. This it was okay in the end. And um, uh, those uh, last match days, they are a lot harder to assess. So, and usually you could trust market a bit more, I have to admit. And it, as long as I'm competitive here, I simply have to say, well, my computer is doing fine. So, no complaints then. Anyway, I'll be back on Friday to check that last match day, which is even more chaotic and even more difficult. So... Let's see what, what comes out there. But I'm not expecting too much from that. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'll be back. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. No, <laughs> share, like, comment, subscribe.